rise and shine. I've been saying that so much lately, and I don't know why. Like, obviously, I think of the Kylie Jenner thing where she was like, rise and shine. But it just makes me excited. Every time I wake up, I'm like, rise and shine. Like, I literally say it every morning. Anyways, hi. Welcome back. Um, It's been a minute. What do you think of my new sweatshirt? I just got it from the bar, the brand, the bar, not the bar, like a bar, like the brand, the bar. I really love it. I'm really excited about it. Um, it's a Christmas present that I opened. Okay. It's a Christmas present that I ordered for my mom, for me. It, <laughs> Cause she couldn't get to her computer. So I ordered them. And then when they got to the house, I was home and I opened the box and then took one of them out. She knows, it's fine, she knows. But uh, isn't it so cute? Okay, I have another box. Also, I got my nails done. Well, it's been like a week now, but they match my sweatshirt. I feel like I'm really into this green color right now. Anyways, hi, welcome back. Welcome if you're new. My name's Callie. And you know what? It really has been a minute. Um, here's the thing. I have like, like footage or whatever you want to call it from, not whatever you want to call it. That's literally what it's called. I have footage from the last couple months, but life just kind of happens and it kicks you while you're down sometimes and I just got really I, I, I haven't been feeling well if I'm being completely honest like I just have not been feeling well the past couple months and it's been a big struggle to get myself to like balance and get my body to cooperate um and so with that, I got, I ended up getting really behind because I took like three weeks where I just was like focused on everything else in my life. And then three weeks turned into longer than that. And then I like was like uploading things like two months behind. And I just kind of was like, I feel like you're not in real time with me. So this is what I, this is the conclusion that I came to. I could either continue uploading all of those so you can see all the things or I can just give you a brief summary and we can start from here because if we start from here then we'll be able to continue through vlogmas and I think what a fun time that would be for both of us you know so that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna pick up from this day forward and everything else briefly gonna update you you ready I got a picture wall up I got a new desk here it is. Okay. I am about to order my new desk chair because I spend 95% of my life at that desk and that desk chair makes my back feel broken. Um, I got new nightstands, which I still have to put the other one in there. Changed my living room. Look at that. I don't know if you remember, but there used to be a chair right there, like another part of the couch. I sold that last night. Um, Organized my closet. It's now color-coded looks a little different. I Got a Christmas tree in here, but it's not put up. We're gonna put that up together. Don't worry. Also look at this Look at my Christmas sheets. Are you kidding me? Look at these. I got them from Ross $17.99, okay, those are gonna go on. We're gonna make it a little Christmassy in here. What else happened? Traveled back and forth a lot. Um, I feel like that's a brief summary of what has happened. Worked. Went to full ride a lot. I hit my 100th that full ride, which was really exciting and really fun. Um, then I didn't go for a month and a half because I didn't feel good and I wasn't here. Um, I'll tell you what did happen. 
after being off a month and a half, my friends were like, let's go, let's go, let's go. And I was petrified to go. Let me tell you something. I was so scared to get back on that bike. I was like, I'm going to freaking die. Because it's one of those things, when you're in the routine of it, when you're in a habit of it, great. Second you get out of the habit, terrifying. So I went to it. Turned out great. It was so much fun. It just was the anticipation. Okay. I feel like those are, those are the main updates. I'm probably missing a bunch, but you know what? As time goes on, oh, you know what did happen? Not that big of a deal. Kind of sad though. Um, I started going to get manicures at the salon that does Russian style manicures. Um, the girl that owns it is from the Ukraine. And so she has trained people and she only had one other nail tech at the time. She trained her to do the Russian style manicures. I was obsessed with it, was in love, great, loved it, so fun. Um, then the girl quit that was doing mine and the other girl isn't taking new clients. So it was so nice though. I was literally going like five weeks in between getting my nails done, which saves a lot of money. And my nails were doing great. They still are, but I had to go back to the place that I used to go. They do a great job. They're just very expensive. And they don't even take care of your cuticles. Like you have to pay an extra 25 bucks for that. I'm not willing to do that. So, yes. So, okay. Like what I got. Um, Miss Haley Bieber has the road peptide lip treatment, which has been my favorite thing in the entire world. Um, we all know I love the Laneige lip balm, like obsessed with it, chef's kiss, great. Then I started using the peptide lip treatment. And let me tell you something, as of right now, it's still on the website. Um, not this one, but the other one, salted caramel, my absolute favorite. I have ordered so many of the lip treatments so that I don't run out of them that I just don't even know what to do. But then she launched this vanilla cake for her, it's like a limited edition birthday flavor. And I'm excited to try it. Look, the other ones are like gray. This one's like white and pink. How cutie. Let's smell. Hmm. That smells exactly like birthday cake. I don't know what I expected it to smell like, if I'm being completely honest. It smells like a piece of vanilla cake, which is what it says, but sometimes, you know, they don't really smell exactly like what they say they smell like. This smells exactly like that. I don't know if I love this scent. I really love the salted caramel, that's my favorite one. So I thought that I was gonna really like this because I do enjoy like scented lip treatments, but I don't know, I don't know. It smells, it, it smells good. I don't know, I said this the other day, which isn't on here now, but um, I don't do super well with like immediate changes. I'm more someone who needs like time to sit with the change and then I'm okay with it. When I first removed the chair out of my living room, I was like, I hate it. It looks horrible. And then I also am always like, oh my Lord, what if I need the chair? I'm gonna miss the chair. I like go down this rabbit hole. But now like sitting with this, I'm like, this is the best change I've ever made. And so <laughs> I don't know how that applies to this, but it does. Because when I, there's immediately something that's different, I can't tell you right off the bat if I like it or not. Like, I've got to sit with it. So I need to sit with this and find out if I like it. Today is the November 30th, the day before December 1st, the day that we all get excited about, around here at least, because it means that it is now acceptable to start watching Christmas movies, it's acceptable to just watch the elf every five seconds. It is acceptable to only have Hallmark Channel on. 
it's acceptable to have Christmas theme sheets. Like today, tomorrow is that day. So now do I start in October? Yes, but that's just me. I don't want to push you, okay? That is just me. I have the issue. Don't want to give that to anybody else. Um, I start the Christmas season in like October. I'm not a big like spooky person. I'm easily frightened. Do love a good haunted house though. I don't know what's wrong with me. Will never catch me watching a horror movie. Will absolutely catch me in line to go inside a haunted house. Something's not, something's not connected. It's not working properly. I don't know what happened, but I almost lost my train of thought. I love the Christmas season. I love everything about it. There's lights, there's music. Like it just feels happy and exciting and peaceful and just like, wow, I get excited about it. I don't know what to tell you. So today's the day before that all starts. So I got home from being away for Thanksgiving last night, had a call this morning at seven, I think it was like 7 to 8.30. Oh, I think when I was gone, my power went out because my stove is blinking. Weird. 7 to 8.30, I had some a call to do this morning. And then now it's time to get everything squared away so that December 1st, the first day of the holiday season, we started off with a bang. Okay, Oliver? Oliver also got a haircut. You want to see him? Look how cute he is. Are you kidding me? Look at him. There's my tree. Okay, it's not up yet. So we've got to get everything set up so that tomorrow is a, what's the, a jolly day. Yeah. So let's go run some errands. I've got to go to the car wash. I've got to go to Target. I've got to go get a juice. And what else do I need to do, Ollie? What am I missing? You don't want to talk to me? All right. Um, I think the rest we'll think of when we're in the car. Off we go. Okay, look what I got. Celery juice. First stop of the day, complete. You gotta give it a little swirl, like this. Swirl it up real nice. Perfect, wait, do you see the swirl? See, you can see it happening. Look at that. Okay. Let's go get a car wash.
Target and I'm about to go inside, but I have a very quick question. When you get out of the grocery store and you go to your car, do you immediately leave because, like, do you, I don't know, okay. Let me tell you the scenario and then you tell me what you think, okay? So I am pulling up, right, about to park my car. This girl walks to her car, gets in her car, and I'm like, perfect, put my blinker on that I'm gonna go into that spot, right? Great, all great things. Put my blinker on, I'm, okay, sir, are you the leaf blower, really? All right, I put my blinker in because I'm about to go into that spot, and then she sits in her car and does her full face makeup. I am always looking around to see if there's like another, especially when the parking lot's completely full. I'm like looking around to see, she didn't do a full face makeup. She just like fixed her lipstick. I don't know, powdered her face. I don't know. Great for her. It's not like proud of her. But I just was sitting there and I was like, if the parking lot's full, go to a one of the back spots. You know what I mean? Like, go to the back of the parking lot. There's a whole line of cars behind me. And then I had to go all the way back around and come back around and she still wasn't, <laughs> she's done left. Eventually I got my parking spot and it's fine. But do you look around when you get in your park, or when your car, do you look around to see if someone else is like, you know what I mean? Like if the parking lot's full, do you look around and see if someone else is coming to get in your parking spot? Because I do, and I immediately like back out because I'm like, someone probably wants this spot. I don't know. Anyways, let's go into Target. Okay, I've made it back. You're kind of, you're on my water bottle right now and it's like rocking. Um, we made it back, back to the same spot. It is freezing outside, okay? I can't stop shaking, but it's because I had it so toasty warm in my car. I'm gonna show you what I got. A drain stick. Because I couldn't find, I needed to get Drano for my shower, my sink, and I couldn't find them. So I got that. All the boring things, I got trash bags, lotion, hand lotion, because I have the, the soap and I got the set before, but the lotion wasn't working when I got it, so I had to take it back and they didn't have one. So now I got it. And then I got mini trash bags for like my bathroom trash can, my bedroom one, this little teeny tiny thing of snail mucin by COSRX, and then toilet paper. So we love that. I think that was everything from Target. So now, Home Goods. Home Goods is where I did most of my shopping today. I got these ornaments. Look how cute these are. I'm so excited about these. Okay. Then I got these and they're little gold ones, but look how cute they are. Then I got these. These are actually my favorite ones. Are you kidding me? Look how cute. So initially I was going to do like pinks, like light pinks and stuff like that. Right. Excuse me. Okay. Okay. Anyways, so initially I was gonna do like light pinks and stuff and then I got in there and found these ones and I was like, nope, I'm doing reds. And then I saw these, they're just like the perfect shade of green and I was like, I'm doing reds, greens, and golds. I got these, look how cute they are. And these ones are like whites and silvers, but you know what, they're still cute. Okay. This I was so excited about. These are like the glass mugs. I have been wanting these, for, I think, it's either Crate and Barrel that has them or CB2, but I think it's Crate and Barrel that has them. And I've been wanting them for so long, but they are like, I want to say they're like $4 each at Crate and Barrel, and I got all four of these for $4. So, I thought that was kind of perfect. I was super excited about that. Right? Weren't they like four bucks? No, they were $7.99. So they were like $2 each. So still made them cheaper than Crate and Barrel. I got this wrapping paper. Are you kidding? Look how cute that is. And then I got these little coffee table books. I've been on a hunt 
for coffee table books forever and I've never been able to make a decision. Look how cute this is. It's a Rolex book. Are you joking? I'm obsessed with it. And then I got this book, but I actually like it better like this. So I'm going to take the cover off of it. Look how cutie. I'm excited. Okay. And then I got all your pair of jammies. Another pair. He already has a pair, but I got him another pair of jammies. And then I got Remy a pair of jammies. If you don't know who Remy is, I have a miniature dash hound. He just is not people friendly or dog friendly, so he doesn't do well in apartments. But I've had him since I was 15, but he's back home in Oklahoma. Look how cute this is. And the last couple of years, he used to be with me here in Nashville, but he just started to get grouchier and more aggressive. And um, he, they a lot of apartment complexes, if they have like a communal dog area, um, do like some sort of screening with the dogs to see if they're aggressive or not. Remy's too aggressive, so. Love that for me. But I got this because Remy, the one that I was talking about, so Remy used to live with me here in Nashville. He was here up until last year. So this is the first apartment that he hasn't lived in. Remy had back surgery and after that he just, he never really liked other dogs, but after his back surgery, he was still here in Nashville. But I just noticed he got more and more and more aggressive and he's just as happier back home. But Remy used to have his very first toy that when I got him, I got him like the little bitty version of this because Remy's only eight pounds now. So when he was born, he was like so tiny. So he had the little bitty version of this and then they had one like this for Santa. So this is Ollie's. Ollie, you wanna play with this? Look, look at it. Look. Tango. Okay. And then I got a tree skirt. Which, it like kind of has like a pinkish tone. Well, no, it doesn't look that pink. It kind of looks a little pink, but I guess maybe it's that. I don't know. This is my tree skirt and it's going to be so cute. I'm so excited. Oh, shoot. Okay. Oopsies. All right. What else did I get? Oh. Also, really glad I went today because all the Christmas decor was 50% off. Perfect. So, I got these for $4. Love to see it. I got these also for $4. Also love to see it. I got this that I'm going to use as the topper for the tree for $5. And then I got... Oh, shoot. I got this little ornament for like $3, but every year back, like growing up, my mom would have us pick out a Christmas ornament. I feel like so many people do this, where every year you pick out your favorite Christmas ornament for the year, and that's your ornament for the tree that year. And so this year, I did mine and Ollie's for my tree, and I got this one. It's a little camera. And then look at Ollie's. It's a little dog bone. Look at it. But... It's where I can put his little name on it. I was gonna get two, one for Ollie and one for Remy. But Remy has one back home. So then I got these. And then I got some ornaments. I went to Kirkland's and they were 50% off as well. And I got a couple of these ornaments and then a couple of these ornaments. They're little Christmas trees, but they're like, funky. Isn't that fun? Okay. That's all I got. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh. And I bought this bag. It was $2. Look how perfect this is going to be for my groceries <laughs> for this time of year. Are you kidding? Now I'm fully in the holiday season and I'm so excited. Tomorrow though, I need to wash my sheets that I just got. And I think I'm going to set my tree up tomorrow and then we'll deck or tonight and then we'll decorate tomorrow. I don't really know where the rest of the day is going to be go. I still have to go to the grocery store. 
But I'm going to pull my laptop out, do some stuff on my laptop, and then we'll see where the rest of the day goes. But maybe I'll make tea in my new mug. Look at it. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. Uh, okay. Did I tell you that I was thinking about buying this chair? Okay. Well, I'll tell you in a little bit because I'll show you a picture of it. I'm going to set all this in this bag so that it's ready to go whenever we are. Um, look what I just got. My favorite sushi in the entire world. If you live in Nashville, it's called Eastern Peak. It is so freaking good. Um, put my sheets in the wash so they'll be ready to go tomorrow. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to set up my tree or not. But I'm hungry, so I'm going to sit down. Again, you're rocking again. And eat my favorite sushi ever. I'm doing some work on my computer, watching a little YouTube. What a time. Six o'clock, I'm ready to go to bed. All right? Because it's dark outside. Anyways, that's my update for you. Guess who went to the grocery store? Me. I don't know how people wear hats and glasses all day. I've been trying to do it more. I've been trying to do it more because I'm like, I don't enjoy wearing my contacts and some days like today, I just needed to wear a hat, honestly, because I need to wash my hair, which I'm gonna do tonight. But, you know, I just, it just feels like everything's crammed in one spot. Like, I just, I feel, I don't, overwhelmed. That's the word. Um, okay. Oh, shoot. My new glasses, well, not, they're like Tupperware glasses. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make my celery juice tonight. It's 9.50. I managed to make it to the grocery store and back. Love to see it. But I am going to make my celery juice tonight because I told you guys I haven't been feeling the best and one of the things that's been really hard is my hands are really, really achy. My joints are really achy in the mornings, but especially my hands. So for me to drink celery juice in the mornings, if I don't juice it the night before, I have to obviously do it that morning. That's just what makes good logical sense, okay? Here's the thing though. My hands are really achy in the morning. So if I don't do it the night before, and I wake up the next morning to do it and my hands are too achy, I end up not doing it because it just really, really hurts to do it. But then it hurts me not to do it. So I'm going to juice it tonight so that I'll have it in the morning so I'll have no reason not to drink it. Also, I just haven't been feeling great in general um, ooh, lately. And I feel like when I went home for the holidays, it's really hard to stick to the way that I'm used to eating when I'm like, especially, I feel like it's really hard to stick to, I'm used to eating very like simple foods and that's honestly what works best for my body is like fruits and vegetables and very like raw plant-based diet. Um, and around the holidays and when I'm home, it's a little bit harder to keep up with that just because obviously like Thanksgiving food is not conducive to my allergies. Um, we have to make everything around it, but still there's like a lot of just holiday foods that are great and I love them. But I realized the past couple days I felt a little sicker than I was feeling before. And so I feel like I just need to do like a reset. Like my body is just starting to feel really achy, really sluggish, and I'm just in a lot of pain, and I kind of feel just like, I don't, I don't know how to describe it. Like, I just feel like, like that. That's what I feel like. Like, so I think that I'm gonna do a cleanse um, and just incorporate lots of like smoothies and fresh fruits and vegetables and just kind of keep it super simple and basic and give my gut time to just calm down because I feel like throwing everything into it and like we ate out some and I ate out because I was on the road and it just kind of throws everything out of balance. So I am just going to do a good solid cleanse, which how fun. How do I, how did I forget how to use my juicer? How fun of us, how fun that we get to start our Vlogmas off like that. In true me fashion, um, we're gonna do a little cleanse. So I think it's gonna be great. I've done so many of them. I'm not doing like a juice cleanse or anything like that. Honestly, my body is so, like, 
I could do something like something could have worked for me like six months ago like this time last year what I did after Thanksgiving to reset was I did a three-day juice cleanse and my body responded okay but like a month before that I did a three-day juice cleanse because my body was like freaking out and I couldn't figure out what was going on with it and it was like the best thing I did and then I did it again a couple months back because I needed to reset again and my body like did the opposite it didn't react well at all so I'm constantly having to change what I do and how I reset my body and how I kind of like maintain and manage um and so right now juice cleanses aren't the best thing for me my body feels very depleted after them and that kind of just I don't want to go from feeling sick to feeling sicker like that's stupid I don't want to just drink juices if I'm going to feel sicker I'm sorry I think that no I'm not willing to do that so I have found that incorporating a lot of the medical mediums practices like celery juice and he has this thing called a 369 cleanse which I think I'm gonna do three days of just like eating very simple like fruits and veggies like I was saying before and then I think starting Monday I'll do the 369 cleanse fully all the way through and see if doing it for those 12 days can I do quick math 9 10 11 12 I just shocked myself I really just shocked myself but I'm gonna see if doing it for the that 10 days or doing it for those 12 days helps or not and then I'm supposed to get into my doctor this week and hopefully it will just take away some of the pain that's going on right now and my inability to focus on anything <laughs> and get any tasks done. So um, I just have a lot, a lot, a lot of like intense brain fog right now. Um, and I'm having really bad head pains and migraines and headaches and just is not fun. This is not the way we're supposed to start this month. Like it's the last month of the year. I'm trying to, I'm trying to go out of 2022 with a bang. Okay. With a bang. Um, yeah, that's my update, but I'm going to juice my celery real quick and then we're going to end the night so that I can put this in the video that I've been editing and get it up. All right, let's start juicing. <laughs> far past my bedtime it's almost midnight it's 11 48 and i'm ready to go to bed i have been on my laptop she is me i've been on my laptop um i worked i got a lot of work done and then i started editing and then i was going back and forth with a customer service rep from crate and barrel because um, I've been trying to order this chair, but their website wasn't very clear like it says non furniture items can be returned And I don't know if the chair is gonna fit So I was like asking them if what the return policy was and then the chats kept getting like canceled And I was like, I just I just have a simple question um, And then they had had a sale on it And so I was just asking them if that was still going on and they said yeah that they would still give me the sale for it. So that's exciting, but I have to wait until the morning because I just was like, it's getting really late. I know it's getting really late for them as well. And there's no reason to stay up to try and figure out a chair. So did that for a little bit, but I am gonna end this off here. Here's the thing. Okay, so it's 1148. 
midnight's about to be around the corner. Technically, it will be December 1st. And I think I'm just going to put this up before I go to bed. But I don't know if I'm going to put this up tonight or if I'll put it up in the morning. So then this will technically be the day, the first day. And then I just do that where I record all day and then edit. I don't know. Do you like it better when videos go up first thing in the morning or when they go up at nighttime? Because I'm like, I could do all day that night, put it up, or I could do like the day of. You know what I mean? Does that make sense where it's like, I, so today I like vlogged all day and then edited tonight and then it'll go up in the morning. So then tomorrow I'll record all day and then edit that night and then it'll go up Friday morning. Maybe I'll do that. I feel like that will like be a little better. I don't know. I don't know. I'm excited to do this. I'm nervous to do it because it's like a lot of pressure and it's a lot of pressure that I know I'll put on myself and I can get easily overwhelmed I've noticed about myself and I want this to be fun because it is it's fun like it's memories it's us hanging out together and spending time like it's just fun and um, I'm gonna do what I can and I think it's gonna be a fun challenge and I'm excited I think it's gonna be so fun and I'm so excited that we're gonna do this together um, yeah, I'm just going to take it one day at a time and some days might be really boring. Uh, and some days might be really interesting. I don't really know. I'm not like sitting here planning out what I'm going to do for the next 25 days. That's just not my personality and uh, that's not authentic to me. So we're being super authentic around here. Some days may just be me doing absolutely the bare minimum and that's okay. That's what you're signing up for, all right? It's gonna be fun. But I have to take Ollie to go potty, jump in the shower, and go to bed because I roped myself into possibly, actually I didn't rope myself into it because I still have an out. I might be going to a 7 a.m. or 7.15 a.m. workout class in the morning. So we'll see how that goes. We'll see if my alarm goes off. We'll see, we'll see. And that's what I told them, I was like, we'll see. Okay, we'll see. But we're going to bed. It's the last night without the tree being there because tomorrow the tree will be up. And uh, happy Vlogmas. It's December! Well, it's like eight minutes away, but when you see it, it'll be December. Okay, I love you. I'll see you later.